All right, today we're going to talk about the click heel interface, click spelled C L I Q U E. Uh, it's an add on that allows you to assign any sort of click to a spell. And um, usually you do that for decurses and heels. Uh, so, for example, um, I'm a healing shaman up here. I'm going to switch windows. So here's my healing shaman, um, and I will um, use mouse button four on people in my raid, and basically you can see what happens. It just heals whoever I'm clicking on, right? And here's how I set that up. Notice cast healing wave rank, rank seven is assigned to button four. To do that, you simply say bind spell, go to the spell you want to assign, and you use the button on that spell. Boom. It's assigned. It's assigned to button four. So whenever I hit button four on my raid interface, okay, not just not just anywhere in the world, all right. This is on raid interface only, click will do that button. So let's go to the mage. Look at the mage. The mage is um, look at the mage's click heal assignment. Remove lesser curse is on middle button. So if I middle button out in the world, I just back up because that's what I've got my middle button assigned to is is back up. Okay. But if I middle button on my raid interface, I try to decurse. All right. I'm trying to remove curse. Okay. So so that's how click works. Now, how can you make it work for you in five minute multiboxing? Well, let me go back to the main tank. This is the main tank's window. Now, in five minute multiboxing, the main tank's window actually has a click interface overlay in it. And to best explain it, I'm going to bring up paint. Since, since the uh, click interface is invisible, I'm going to bring up paint and I'll explain it that way. So, what I'll do is gonna take a, a quick snip of my main tank okay this is my main tank window put it in paint this will all become clear in a second just just hang with me all right so this is my main tank window in the main tank window in five minute multiboxing, there is an invisible box, all right, right over your raid interface. And the box looks roughly like this, okay? That box is called the click overlay. If I click in this box, okay, it's not going to click in my main window. It's going to send that click to everybody else's window, all right? Let me show you what I mean. If I click here, okay, I'm clicking in my main window. But if I move my mouse over to this side of the RAID interface, I'm no longer clicking in my main window. Look what's happening. I'm targeting in my other windows. Those people are targeting in, in, in the other windows exactly where I'm pressing. So. If, for example, I um, use mouse button four on Mutalia, look what happens. Mutalia gets a heal. If I use mouse button four on Fury Swipes, look what happens. I get a heal. And if I if if I um, use middle mouse button, for example, say on Battlefield. Well, my mage is trying to decurse Battlefield, or my mage is trying to decurse Vajayjay, or Mutalia, or Fury Swipes. All right, so that's how it works. It's as simple as that. The left side of your compact party interface is left for targeting. All right, it, you can drag and drop to trade. You can you can treat the left side as if it were just a normal. Um, party interface. You can't drag and drop to the right side because your clicks don't go to the right side at all. They are blocked. They only go to your other windows. Right? 
So that's how you you do click healing. Um, it supports five mouse buttons. Okay, the the common five mouse buttons. It does not support wheel up or wheel down. So you get the five mouse buttons. You can click over here. Do, probably don't use left or right. If you if you look at right, right is the menu interface. Okay, don't use right mouse. That's your menu interface. Um, don't use left mouse. That's just targeting. If you use left mouse, then you won't be able to target your um, compact party interface inside any of the other windows, and that's no good. So just use button three, button four, button five, and um, you can assign three different things to it. I'll add shift to it later. Shift doesn't work, but I will add that. Um, okay, so back to back to um, the overlay because the overlay this is the this is the hard part to explain at times remember the overlay is a yellow rectangle um, that covers the right side of your compact party interface now I've got this set up so it works it will paint you that overlay automatically in all of the resolutions I support in five minute multiboxing for five boxing all right for five boxing not a lot of you actually five box like me but that's the only thing I've set it up for okay if you don't five box you are going to have to set it up yourself but don't worry I'm gonna show you how to do it notice in your tune list from today's um, version of five minute multi boxing you've got this commented outline here click overlay and four numbers alright I explain what those four numbers are but I'm going to explain better right now to do that I've got to get rid of my dog Boba get out of here to do that I gotta rearrange things a little bit let me bring paint down here alright the four numbers are X position, Y position, box width, and box height. Now the positions are relative to the window, all right? The window that you're using, uh, that, that your main is in. So this is going to be your main's window only. Um, you'll be drawing this box, this overlay. And um, to figure out how to draw your overlay, Go to your main window, then bring in bring in hotkey net and turn on this last key press window. All right, see this last key press window? It has a very useful function, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna test that function right now. Wherever you click on the screen, oh God, let's bring hotkey net up a little bit higher. Wherever you click on the screen, it tells you where in the window you clicked. Notice win position, 126, 465, all right? Win position is all you care about, okay? This is how you're going to draw your invisible rectangle, all right? So watch closely. I'm going to go back to the, the paint image because it's much easier. You're going to draw a box using four numbers and the four numbers are described right here X pose Y pose box width box height All right let me explain what those are X pose and Y pose this is the box you're trying to draw your X position and Y position is how many pixels over from the, the left you are and how many pixels down from the top of the window you are. All right? So you're placing the upper left part of your box. Okay, You're moving this box and you X pose and Y pose tells you where the upper left corner of this box goes. So in this example it's 105 over and 260 down from the top of the window. Box width and box height tell you 
the dimensions of your box, right? How wide it is in pixels and how tall it is in pixels, right? So in this example, this is a 65 pixel wide box and it's 330 pixels tall, okay? You can't see this when you're dimensioning it like this using these numbers so you have to imagine it but that's okay because you have a great tool to imagine it you've got the hotkey net window so let's pretend I'm trying to dimension my box here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into my window and I'm gonna split my compact party interface right here at the top and I'm gonna click boink Look at that. X equals 109, Y equals 263. Well, there you go. I have my I have my X pose and Y position right there. So in my tune list, I'm going to put X pose 105, Y pose 260 or whatever it said. What did it say? Let's click it again. Bam. 112 263. So I'll put that 112, 263 in the first two numbers. Now, how wide is my box, Fury Swipes? Well, now you got to do a little math. Get your calculator out. You know where you know where your your X pose was, right? 111 in this case. Now go over to the right side of your compact party interface and click again. 175. Well, that's how wide your box is. Your box is one. 75 minus 111 64 so I'm gonna put box width 64 look I've got 65 there that's pretty close now how tall is my box fury swipes well go to the top of your rate compact party interface click it what does it say y 260 now go to the bottom click it again what does it say y 593 let's do our math 593 minus 260 equals 333. So let's put 333 right here as the fourth number of our click overlay. Don't forget to take the comment out if you're overriding this, right? Now, if you are five boxing, once again, you do not have to make any changes. It will automatically work. The click overlays are, si overlays are sized for five boxes for all resolutions. But if you're not five boxing, you're going to have to do these numbers. All right, you're going to have to do it just as I showed. Now, once you do that, once you once you get your custom overlay saved, just save save tune list. You know, write your tune list out, drag and drop it, reload it, and then make sure it works like this. Don't forget to turn scroll lock on because it only works with scroll lock on. You're just going to click. All right, and make sure nothing happens to your tunes, to your other tunes when you're clicking the left side of the bar. And when you're clicking the right side of the bar, make sure all your tunes click that particular slot in the RAID interface. And make sure you don't do anything. Also, make sure you click outside the bar to make sure you didn't screw anything up. Do all that, and you will have a click to heal interface just like this and you can use click to configure whatever spell you want on that interface for example I have I have a shaman right and he has nature swiftness so if I use mouse button 5 he pops nature swiftness All right, nature swiftness doesn't care about who your target is but it only works if I put my mouse inside the click interface all right kind of awkward but it works for me all right and then the next click is going to be the heel that's how you use the click overlay in five minute moly boxing uh, if you are confused don't understand please ask questions on the discord server don't ask questions in the youtube comments um Come to the Discord server and ask questions. I mean, you can ask questions in the YouTube comments. They just won't get answered as quickly as on the Discord server. All right, thanks. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more instructional videos on how to use 5-Minute Multiboxing. And hopefully you can get Multiboxing in 5 minutes.